This is the scene Alberta resident Lorraine Stevens found when she got home from babysitting. I was coming from Hope and I got here and they said the house was on fire. But Stevens neighbor and friend Marcus Wiley saved the day. I just heard the popping. So I took off the run and, and I, when I got to my house I seen it was on fire. And then that's when I grabbed the whole pipe and just put it out. Wiley says he knew someone was inside the house, so he took action. The main concern was to just put it out from the outside before it get to the inside. Okay. The remaining ashes show the flames went from the bottom of the home to the roof. And according to Tuscaloosa Fire Marshal Gene Holcomb, the fire stayed on the outside of the home. It did some damage to the siding of the house. Uh, it's suspicious in nature. Steven says she appreciates Wiley's act of bravery. Yeah, I'm thankful for he was there to um, put my house out on fire. Wiley says he didn't hesitate and he would do the same in the future. I was just looking out for them, make sure they were safe and okay. And if I had to do it again, I'd do it again. Holcomb says no injuries were reported in the fire. In Alberta, Emily Forrester, WVUA News. of right field ragers guys what makes this area of the ballpark so special well uh, first of all you know everyone's allowed to bring coolers out here which really just helps everyone get turned up I came to a couple baseball games when I was a freshman here and there was not nearly as many people as there are out here now and so pretty much just the right field ragers are just dominant uh, baseball teams around the country will fear Alabama's right field <laughs> So here we go. We're going to learn how we do it. How to heckle 35 right out here. That's who we're going for. First off, his name's JJ. Uh, yeah, that's always. JJ! Is his name Shatner? Oh, uh, looks like Schaefer. Hey, Shatner! His girlfriend's name is Hannah, so. Hannah. Uh, I like to start off, you know, something about Hannah. Hey, JJ! How does Hannah like Tuscaloosa? 
So JJ, is he a, is he a good looking man? I mean, I'm, I'm not putting you on the spot here. Or is he funny looking? Is he a little goofy looking? He's, he's not that goofy looking. Yeah, he's from Auburn, so they're all goofy looking. <laughs> good answer. But he's got the sunglasses on his head for a night game. I never understand that. Take the sunglasses off, JJ! That's, always, that's a good one. No, that's a good one, yeah. Uh, is that good? That's a good one. I like that. I'm getting better. They say Ted Williams was a student of hitting. Matthew here is a student of heckling. Thank you very much, Matthew. I'm flattered. Yeah! 275 competitors from all across the southeast, including seven different states, came to Duncanville for the 2013 Southern Regional Water Skiing Championship. Tournament co-director Craig Worley says this region just might be the toughest in the entire nation. Our region is blessed with uh, probably the best water skiers of any region in the U.S. Uh, so this regional is the, the most competitive of any of the regionals. We have a lot of highly ranked uh, competitors in all all of the events. Shelly Tranchita drove nearly 10 hours from Wilmington, North Carolina just for this tournament. She says her experience has been wonderful thus far. This is my first time here at Lyman Land and it's beautiful. Um, they dye the water a beautiful shade of blue and it skis real nice. It skis slow which is good for skiers. It keeps us balanced. Jasmine Mosley, a Tuscaloosa native and water ski veteran of 19 years, placed second in the women's two division slalom. Mosley says it brings back memories of her skiing days at Bama. We're lucky in Tuscaloosa to have a premier ski site here on a public, I mean a private lake that is pristine conditions all the time. Uh, I like that I'm representing the University of Alabama and the state of Alabama. But Mosley wasn't the only former collegiate skier on hand. John Harris competed here over a decade ago in 1999 for the Clemson Tigers. We had some collegiate tournaments here and that was actually probably the last time that I that I skied here and uh, so it was kind of cool to come back and, and ski at Lyman site again. Uh, it, it skis well, it's a good site. Not only is the man-made lake ideal for skiing, it's also a great place for family fun. Reporting in Duncanville, I'm Lee Smith, WVUA Sports.